Okay guys, um, you've seen some of my other videos when I operated QRP outside. I used this little solar panel here to charge uh, two of these batteries. I had three of them. I would use one charge two and just kind of keep rotating them. And this was kind of the hodgepodge configuration <laughs> that I was using. Um, the solar panel has this adapter here, a little connector here, and it came down to these alligator clips. <clears throat> so I'm using this uh, 7 amp solar charger regulator um, and I just uh, I just wrapped the wires into a loop and soldered them so there'd be something for that to, to grab onto. And you see it's actually picking up enough energy from the uh, the light on my workbench here that it's actually saying that it's it's got some uh, some juice probably can't see that but that little light is on right there and then because I wanted to charge two batteries I took the output and uh, just took it down and spliced it into two uh, spade terminals now they had they both had fuses on them and had fuses on both sides. Okay, so that that is what I was using. It was very quick, very easy, and it, it worked. But for the ham and can project, I want to uh, move to Anderson power poles. And the ham and can front panel, if you've seen that video, has these this size Anderson power poles on it. <clears throat> now what I don't want to do is, is degrade my ability for using the solar panel for other functions. So I'm going to leave these uh, alligator clips. Now it came with this little connector here. Okay, there's the alligator. It came with those, but it also came with this connector. Okay. Which has these lug terminals on it. Now it also has, interestingly enough, this is actually a seven and a half amp fuse in here. So I'm going to leave that seven and a half amp fuse, and I'm going to go ahead and switch to Anderson power poles here, here, and on the output here. So I'm going to move the, the camera around a little bit and show uh, putting the Anderson power poles on this connector right here. Alright, so what we've got here is I've got my little cable. Uh, I've got my Anderson power poles. And I'm going to go ahead and crimp them, but I'm also going to solder them. And to do the soldering, I'm going to use my little helping hand gizmo here. You may have seen this in other videos. This is quite a uh, quite a handy little tool, and it just gives you an extra, literally an extra set of hands to use. Now I <laughs> I have seen every kind of conceivable way to crimp these things that you could imagine. Um, I've seen people using channel locks. Okay, whatever. Um, I've seen them trying to use these automotive uh, tools. I'm trying to think of a polite way of calling these things. Very bad. They do make a very specific tool for Anderson power poles. This is not it. However, it is a Klein crimping tool. And we're going to be using this. And what we'll do, the power pole actually has a split down one side. <clears throat> so I'm going to be putting the split down and crimping like so okay 
But, like I said, I'm gonna, and then when I'm done crimping, I'm gonna go ahead and solder them. So, let's go ahead and get my flush cutters, and I'm gonna chop this guy off here. This is a lot of what you see uh, with the Japanese wire. <laughs> this looks like very heavy gauge wire. It, in reality, is not. Uh, let's see if I can... See, it actually has double insulation. There's an outside piece of insulation and then an inside piece of insulation. Now that's still a fairly good, uh, fairly good chunk of wire. That's still like a, uh, I think that's about a number 14 gauge maybe, which is way plenty. Now the one thing we I want to make sure we do, and I is when we cut this. I want to make sure I have enough where it butts up in there all the way. Okay, so I'll need to take just a little bit more off of there. In the old days, <laughs> I would recommend using thermal strippers for any type of stripping. That is the best. Uh, but since I don't have thermal strippers, this will have to do. All right, so that's that's pretty good. That's a pretty good uh, fit there. Let me tighten, zoom in here, and see if you can see this a little better. Okay. Oh, I don't didn't like that glare, boy. Back it up a little bit. All right, so you can see that I have a little, just a little bit of wire hanging out here. A little bit right there just butts up just fine okay so that's what we we'll want on the other side here I like clamping these with the wire aiming down somewhat it's actually aiming kind of towards the table and what we do is we start at the top here to where are we soldering on some wire the larger wires have to get a little bit of heat going all right there we go now we defeat it as we move down towards the tip I think that should be sufficient and again I'm not I'm not going to be this is the split side this is the split side here, so the round part, the round part's going on the split side, this will go on the back side of the split. And I try to put the crimp about the center of the power pole. Let's just give it a good squeeze. Okay, so you can see the uh, the split is still together. There's a nice good dent in the back side here. All right, let me do the other side. And again, I'm kind of tilting it. I'm kind of tilting it down a little bit. Now this will take a little more heat. feed it in the end here a little bit perfect now it probably couldn't see it on the camera but I could actually see it wicking uh, up through this crack here beautiful right, let's see if we can switch it without all right so our positive side was the first side we did so it should just snap in there like so 
snap. Perfect. Black sign. So there we go. And I realize you don't want to do this, but if you want to just test to make sure the connectors actually function, there you go. All right, so there's the Anderson power pole connectors on the little gizmo that comes from the solar panel. Now we just have to do the rest. Charger. Okay, so we completed the uh, charging controller. And you can see we have the Anderson power poles on those. And of course, uh, you watched us put these on here. So now what we'll do is uh, this is the input side. It says solar panel battery. So on the solar panel side. Just connect these up. And now this end can go into our ham and a can project. Uh, now we may, in fact, I may just go ahead and for the sake of argument, go ahead and take one of these guys here um, and uh, put a couple Andersons on it so I can still use it as a one off charger. Just plug them into here. Alright, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Hi guys, Dave here. And I've decided to catch up with the rest of the YouTube world and create a Patreon account. If you like the content that you're seeing, the help videos, and uh, some of the new things that I try to show you, please support my channel. I put a link to the Patreon account below and I would appreciate you uh, helping me out. Thanks for watching, and again, all my YouTube videos, content will always be free to my viewers. Thank you very much.